Hi Crafty Patty here. I've been having lots of fun preparing for a baby shower coming up and I decided to make these darling little baby booties. They're a great little favor to give out to your guests. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to go from one pink paper cup to this darling little baby booty. The main thing you'll need is paper drinking cups. These pearl sheets from the dollar store work really, really well because you can cut the length you need to go all the way around your cup and just cut off one row and you can just glue it on. It works really, really well. You could pick up some glitter stickers or some little pearl accents, different color rhinestones, whatever you want. Feel free to go and buy some more accent ribbons of your choice. I've got a little heart ribbon. And my favorite is this satin ribbon, which has a little row of pearls on it. And you'll need some tool in the color of your choice to have your little candy bags for your guests for the baby shower. I'm using the Offre at six inches, and I just used my rotary cutter to cut my six inches and cut a bunch of them at the same time. I also found a little accent ribbon, and I'm going to put that inside the candy bags as well. So step one is to take your cup and I'm going to be cutting it down to two inches. So I'm just looking at my two inch mark here and I'm just going to make a mark and just bring it along and go around your cup. Now with some sharper scissors, you can come in, come right down and you're going to want to cut just below your line, so of course you don't see those, even though we'll be covering them with a ribbon. Cut down to your two inch mark. And that's what we'll be using for our little boot. We're gonna keep this. So cut off the rim, that top rim of the cup, and we'll make use of that for the bottom of the boot. Find your join in the cup, which is right here. We're going to go directly across, which is right there. I'm going to use my guide again, and I'm going to measure down one inch. So I'm just going to make a little mark on this side and a little mark on this side. I'm going to angle it just slightly and then come down right to the black mark and the same on the other side and then come straight in and take out that little bit of the triangle. I'm just going to round my edges just a little bit. We're going to make three holes for our laces. So we're going to come in Make one at the top, and then come down a little bit further, and for the third one just work your way in there and turn it around a little bit and sneak it into the edge here to get your last hole. Same on the other side. 
this is when I'm going to use my canning jar and my clip and you'll see that that will be so much easier to tie up your laces when this is nice and secure. You'll need about 20 inches and then what you can do is just make a little point on the end of your ribbon and it'll help to thread it through the little holes. And you're going to lace it just like you would a pair of shoes. And that's what our little lace-up looks like. I'm just holding this down so we can get a good view for you in the camera. And then we're just going to tie like you would a shoe. And now start to pull your shoelaces together. Bend it down and pull. And once you've got your two sides together, you've met your two pieces together here, then you're good. So I'll just hold on to that, tie a knot, and then you can tie a little bow. Pull it really tight, and then come back and release it so the bow gets smaller. Even up your two sides of your bow, pull again, and make sure it's nice and tight, and just trim up your ends. I'm going to use one of these flowers and add a little bit of hot glue and place it in the middle of my bow. Now remember that piece we cut off the top of that drinking cup? So let's start on the back here where the seam is and I'll start right there. So I'll just add some glue for your glue gun. Do a little couple inches at a time. Hold it in place. And we'll be working our way around the cup. And when you get to the back, measure and cut off so they butt together. finish gluing. And there we have the bottom of our little shoe, our little booty. So the easiest I find is just to start with just gluing the outside. And I'm just going to match up the pearls to the top because this side will be folding down into the middle of the boot. And work your way around. And once you get to this side, just estimate where you want to cut that off so it tucks underneath that little flower. You have to cut in between the little pearls. And now come back, get your little bow out of the way, and finish the gluing. And 
we'll just tuck that right underneath. Okay, so now we can come in and place some glue on the inside and just fold the edge in. So we're just going to come in here, get some glue in here, and fold into the middle. So take your beads or your pearls and you can measure around and then you'll know exactly where to cut it. And I've cut it so they'll just match up perfectly on the back. So once you've measured your beads or your pearls, then you can just come in and cut a strip off. So we'll just come in and cut all the way down. Now I'm going to start at my back, add a little bit of glue, bring it in place. And the last little section. That, eh? That matches up perfectly because we did some measuring to start with. And now we've got the little accent on the bottom of the little booty. And I just think that is the cutest little thing. I've got these soft adhesive pearl accents which I haven't used yet. So let's give this a try. So I think I'm just going to use just this one little part of a curl here. So we'll cut it off about here. So I'll do the same for the other side. You can embellish these however you want. And I'm going to put up one of these little cute little stars, stickers, right on the very back. Right there. Just for fun. Make sure you've got a nice clean working area. And I've got my little pieces of tulle that I cut at six inch squares, six by six inches. I've got one on the bottom, then I've got my little accent piece I'm going to put in the middle. And another one on the top. And I'm going to cut about a one foot piece of ribbon, ribbon of your choice. So we're ready to tie it up. And a tablespoon of your candies. Fold it all up. And get your ribbon. And tie a knot. And then what I like to do is I've got one piece of tall on the bottom. I scrunch up one piece and put it inside and then pop your candies on the top and then bring all your tall up to the sides and then pop it in. It just brings it up a little bit higher and gives it just a little bit more fluff for the top of your shoe for your little candy. And there you have it, a darling little booty for your shower to give as a little takeaway.